So here we have the Lady Death drawing for an upcoming cover for Coffin Comics, of which I'm one of the regular artists for. You can see I've already indicated a light drawing. I don't want to get it too heavy because this character has white hair and white skin. So it's primarily going to be uh, lots of subtle grays, blues and purples in the shadows. It'll be a very cool kind of moody piece that's more, uh, a little bit more of a fine art flavor for this illustration since it doesn't indicate a uh, specific or background or scene for the character. And I submitted three or four different drawings to the publisher before this one was accepted and chosen. So uh, I'm going to be using the Barrel Prisma Color, uh, which I like quite a bit for the pencils and doing the what I call an underdrawing instead of an underpainting, only because uh, I'm more comfortable with it and I'm pretty fast with the pencils. I like the even strokes and the fact that I'm not uh, having to dip a brush constantly into uh, water or paint or media. So it's really just personal preference. Uh, but because I'm a big fan of drawing and uh, shading, this for me over the last 20 years has kind of developed into one of my more favorite techniques, uh, but not something that I exclusively use. Uh, over here there's a uh, Thunderbolts cover that I'm working on. But I was painting this live at a show in Mexico, so I took my watercolors with me because uh, it was a good, portable, easy thing to do. Uh, and I can actually work on a piece like that even on the airplane. So one of the things to keep in mind if you're an artist is to always make your underdrawing or your first drawing, your sketch, as really as good as possible. This is gonna make your painting better as well. Uh, now my process is a layering process so a lot of this I'm just putting in the first initial lines and shading. I can make it lighter or darker as I go. Uh, one of the things that we always get used to as artists you think oh you've, you've done something and it can't be changed but that's certainly not true. Uh, you have to be bold with your art uh, to create the best art possible. If you don't push yourself and your art uh, then you'll probably not get maybe as good as you want or your potential because we have a tendency to stay in our comfort zone. Well, that's probably why a lot of artists do the same style once they reach a style that is successful for them commercially. Uh, then maybe they don't experiment quite as much as they could or should trying new techniques. Uh, I do everything from oils and acrylics and automotive and vehicle painting to sculpture designs and I use the computer where necessary but I don't rely on it. It's not my main tool like a lot of artists have embraced today uh, simply due to speed and the capabilities of it. Uh, but because I enjoy selling my artwork to collectors and things like that I've chosen to stay more traditional. So make your drawing as good as you possibly can and you'll, uh, you'll have a better chance for a successful piece of art when you're done.